talk about Iter Tools 2. Or let me print it out. <laughs> there we go. All right. Now I know my screen's not 80 characters wide. Cool. Um, I talked about Iter Tools uh, last month, and now I want to talk on to the second part. So let's start by importing Iter Tools. Huh? Um, the first function I want to talk about is uh, combinatoric functions. There's a whole slew of them, uh, all your basic uh, discrete math combinatoric functions, like, for example, product, right? So let's say you have a list of two items. So again, uh, iter tools always spits out generators, so I always throw out a list to show what it does, or else it doesn't make it. You just get a generator object, which is not very impressive. So product, what it'll take is uh, give it two sequences, so this is in this case a list of two items, and then a string of two characters, will return a sequence of them productized against one, one another, right? Uh, this, is not, this is basically like a for loop inside a for loop. Uh, it's not brain surgery, but it's, these are all sort of weird functions that aren't always trivial to implement. Um, that's product, that's the most simplest one. Uh, you can also do permutations. So what you do is you give a list of things. That list go? No, that list got cut off, sorry. Maybe if I make this full size, there we go. Give a list of things and how many items you want in your permutations, and it'll give you all the permutations of two items in this, uh, uh, of this list as I gave it. Uh, and then if I join it, boom. I get, uh, so what I did here is I just took every item and I joined them together. And you get every item uh, with every other element of the list. So, for example, you would have, uh, you know, qualified quasar and also quasar qualified, right? So there's no, it's not combinations, which is, no surprise, the next function. So if you don't want those doubles coming up, again, same as permutations, and do the same function to among the together. This will do the same thing except remove all the doubles. So instead of qualified quasar and quasar qualified, you just get qualified quasar in this case. But that with all the others. Right? Again, these are conceptually very simple, but a bit hard to implement. And Python just does it for you with any sort of lists or objects or whatever, and uh, as generators so they don't take up a ton of memory. And it's really handy in that corner case when you need it. Yeah, you can also do it with replacements. And again, and this time, exactly like regular combinations, except you get qualified, qualified it twice, right? So this time you didn't replace, so you, it's like picking out of a bag without, and this time it's you pick out a bag, but you put it back in, and you get all possible uh, permutations of that input. Basic uh, math, you know, basic discrete math. With the plus operator. Uh, sorry, with the plus operator? Yeah. What do you mean? All right, so, in, so, so what, what you're, what, what's actually happening here is you're getting a, a tuple out of this, uh, uh, um, out of this, sorry, out of this generator, right? So comms2 is a tuple of qualified and qualified, qualified and quasar as strings, and I just joined them together to make them easier to print. So you're getting a tuple of things. So, you, so in this case, I just joined them with, with a space, but you can do whatever you want uh, as you want it. Um, to move on, uh, da, 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 da. you also have uh, other t functions that modify uh, the sequences you have, right? So uh, in this case, uh, one of my favorite, group by. So let's say you have a sequence. All right, so just see a list of, uh, <laughs> off the top of my head, <laughs> of functions on the standard lib. Uh, <laughs> split. That's, uh, if you use Vim, you get really handy. <laughs> <laughs> and let's say I want to group them by, I don't know. Okay, let me see. I want to group them by, uh, let's take my packages. And uh, let's give a function to group by, right? So this is like the key function in, oh, I got 38 seconds. This is like the key function in sorts. Let's say I want to group them by the first name. And what this will do is, an iterator where it'll give me a key and the group, so all the items grouped together in another generator. Uh, and what I can do is then print out key, key, 
join the groups by a string, and it'll group them by that key. So that key, in my case, is just the first element of the name. And you can do whatever, so that any function can be put in there. So any ways you want to group your functions, uh, you can do it. Okay, I got five, 10 seconds. I can do this if I type really fast. Let's take another sequence. <coughs> and the, uh, T, what T does is if you spit out from the first one, it stores them in memory for the second one. So you can use the second sequence, which starts at the same part as the first one. So basically, like the Unix T splits it into two parts and splits your sequence into two parts. So if you have a very long, complicated series of generator functions that are tied together, you can use T to create two of them and use them in two parts. Thank you. Thank you.